What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School, and today, no, we are not talking about the Glock 19. We are talking about the excess standard dot suppressor height sights. Yes, that's a mouthful. everybody like I said no we're not talking about the Glock 19 we're actually talking about the DXT2 standard dot suppressor height sights from XS sights Whew, yes that is a mouthful yeah some of you dirty minds can have fun with that one too I know I would but I wanted to talk a little bit about these because it's, it's a great backup if you've got a red dot or they're great if you're not wanting a red dot. If you're not a fan of a red dot or you don't want to learn the red dot, you know, you could go with the standard dot or as you saw in a previous video I did, they also have big dot sights. Now, big reason I didn't go with the big dot sights on this particular gun is I didn't want it to overpower my red dot. I like my red dot. I'm starting to get better and better and better with it the more I practice. But I did want to have a backup in case something happened to this thing. Now these particular sites, uh, from what they say on their website, are compatible with the Trigicon RMR and the SRO, the Vortec Viper, and then your Halasun 507C series. Um, I'm assuming what they mean by compatible is they'll co-witness with the red dot. These don't quite co-witness. Um, I can see them if something were to happen with my red dot. Like I've shot these, you know, once I got them on, I went down and shot, shot it just to make sure everything was lined up and zeroed without turning my red dot on. But I could tell having my red dot on they didn't quite co-witness which is not a big deal for me i'm not looking for that i just wanted to have a backup so if something did happen to my red dot i'm not having to try to get the thing off the gun i don't you know some people will put little tick marks or engrave a mark on their gun to kind of use as a backup site but i actually wanted some backup iron sights on this gun so of course i went with the suppressor height so i can still see them through the glass without having to take it off if you go with the standard height you're probably not going to see them through the red dot so really not going to do you any good but again i went with the standard and i went with the green on this one compared to what i went with on my Hellcat that you saw in the previous video where i went with the orange i felt the orange and the big dot either orange or green might overpower that red dot and not something that I really wanted. But I will say adding these on there, I think are helping me grab my red dot a lot faster than what I was before. But these have your V profile in the back. It's kind of a, even though their suppressor height is still a low profile V, you're dotting the I, and I'll have pictures up just like I did in the other video. You're dotting the I just like what you would with the big dot sights. Okay, so these also absorb, they're tritium, so they're going to absorb ambient sunlight, and they're in low light or no light. They're just, they're really going to pop. This actually, since it's a standard dot, is going to measure uh, 0.140 inches. So a little bit smaller than what the big dot is, but again, I didn't want it to overpower my red dot. Now the red dot I've got on here is the, I think it's 508T. So that's the one that I've put on here, but again, I can still see it. It's just not going to co-witness. And again, you're dotting the I. These are also like the others. They are CNC machined. You can tell when you take these things out and get ready to put them on. They're metal. They're durable. It's good quality. You're not going to get bad quality stuff from them. They also, with even with the suppressor height sights, are going to fit your standard holsters. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a standard holster here to show you uh, because I don't have a standard holster for this gun with a flashlight and a red dot. But they will fit standard holsters. You're getting the same 
12 year warranty on the tritium and 30 day money back guarantee with any of their sites, the big dots or the standard, whatever that you might happen to go with. And again, the same thing, dotting the I, you've got your little, I will, to me, it's not really a white strip. It's more of, I would say like a tick mark, uh, but still you're dotting the I, that's all you have to do. And again, it just, they pop, they're right there. I mean, you just grab them and you go. Now, another thing to remember, if you go with the suppressor height sights, that's gonna change your holds, all right? So you're just gonna change your point of aim a little bit. You're gonna aim, if you go and put these on, aim where you normally aim, it's gonna probably hit a little bit lower. So make sure you do get out and practice with these things. Well, let's hold it up here so you can try to, I don't know if it'll, let's try to hard to, line everything up here if you can see it but like i said i'll have some pictures up so you can see how well this thing pops and how you're just dotting the eye again like what you see in the poster over my right shoulder here also don't forget i'm an affiliate with xs sites scgs 10 when you go to buy your sites whether it's the standard height or the suppressor height doesn't matter they've got the suppressor height for just about any manufacturer that you can think of or might possibly have so don't do yourself a disservice and not go out and put these on your gun these things will change your life it's i'm telling you the first time I shot these things on my buddy's gun, I was just like, holy shit. And I've been, I'll be honest, I've been procrastinating a little bit on getting these things and getting them on the gun, but it's done. And that's why I wanted to talk about it because newer shooters, novice shooters, this will help you out, especially for your newer shooters that are struggling lining up those front and rear sights, whether it's the goal post rear sight or the two dots. So the goal post, you're sitting the dot in the middle of the goal post, the two dots, you're lining up those dots, the rear sight dots with your front sight dot, those have to be in a row. This to me is so much easier because again, you're dotting the eye. You got your tick mark and you just go in there and put it right there at the top of that tick mark. So you're not going to be disappointed at all whatsoever. The other great thing about these is the way they are have the ledge here in the front. It's great for one hand manipulations if you ever have to do that. Now, of course, I've got the dot on here to help me out with that. But as you saw in my Hellcat video, it's a nice, straight ledge there so if you've got to ever manipulate with one hand now if you some of y'all are sitting there going well, what do you mean manipulate with one hand all right real life ain't perfect it ain't a competition nobody's going to stop if you get injured or anything like that so something could happen to where i have to manipulate this with either my right hand or either my left hand so i might not have the mobility or dexterity or whatever might happen in one hand or the other. So knowing how to manipulate this thing with one hand is something that you need to do. Go out and get training, all right? Now, I don't mean high level combat role operator freaking training. That's not what we're doing, all right? We're gonna have some videos and some lives on our social media talking more about that, but go out and get some formal training. Get you some good sights, put them on your gun, Go out and get some training. These are also easy to put on, okay? You're gonna get all the tools that you need outside of your hammer and your punch. They'll even send the uh, front sight tool that you need to take off the front sight for your Glock. So you're getting everything you need when you order these outside of, just like with the Hellcat, a vice, a hammer, and a punch. Now, I don't mean some big, huge hammer. You shouldn't need anything like that. You're not gonna need big, huge punches or anything like that either. But those, everything else you're gonna get with you. You need to provide vice, hammer, and the punch. Maybe a rag or something to kinda, you know, clean, maybe some Q-tips, but there's videos on their website and their YouTube page that'll show you exactly how to do this. It is not overly complicated. You just need the right equipment. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, take it to a gunsmith, all right, gun store, or even a firearms instructor, okay? I, if, if you're in the area near me, let me know if you need some help with it. I'll be glad to help you. 
It's not overly complicated. You just got to have the right tools, a little bit of patience. I think all in all, it took me maybe, oh, hell, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes at most to put them on. It might even been a little bit longer because I was just a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, I was answering phone calls, text messages, things like that. So it's not going to be anything that's going to take you a long time. Very easy to do. Don't think you got to be a gunsmith to do it or have all that equipment. Vice, hammer and a punch, what you need to provide, they're going to provide everything else. So again, that is XSSites.com, X-Ray Sierra Sites, XSSites.com code SCGS10, South Carolina Gun School, abbreviated SCGS10. I'll have it up here in the screen for you so you can go in. It'll also be down in the description as well, too. Get out and get you some of these sites, folks. You won't be disappointed. And don't forget, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.